The whole point of Adobe XD as a tool is to allow you to work much faster than with all other tools and the whole point of it is to design, prototype and share so all within one app and there is this amazing feature of Adobe XD called Repeat Grid which is going to help you do that even faster than with all other tools. So if I switch to Adobe XD, this is where it's located. So if I select this and delete it, and if I select this and delete it, so we just have this one text, I can ungroup it. What you can do is select your group and hit repeat grid. Now, as you can see, you can create repeated objects and customize with text and images. So you can uh, basically do this with buttons, with icons, with uh, images with text, whatever you want. All you have to do is you have these two handles so you can drag down It's going to create a copy or you can drag to the right and it's going to create a copy Obviously, you can see how uh, useful this can become when you start creating your layouts and finally you can ungroup grid But before you do you can hover right here to change the spacing So just like I showed you with those groups. So if I go back into here uh, I show you how to create that stack. This is exactly the same, but it just works with multiple elements, multiple options at the same time. Finally, in your layers panel, it just shows like this. So you can know it's a repeat grid. It's the same icon as this, but you can always ungroup the grid. What's important about this is when you start working with repeat grid, you have to create one element and then create repeat grid. You cannot create, for example, this element and then this element and then this element and expect uh, when you click repeat grid, expect to create the repeating pattern. It cannot do that. You just have to create one single element like I showed you. So if I go back like this, so this is just our one element. And then from here, you can create your repeat grid and do whatever you want with it. Finally, when you're finished, you can hit ungroup grid and you can see it's going to show you all of these different groups because we have started with a group. Now we have ended up with four different groups. And finally, when I click right here, you can still you see it's still kept this stack features. So I can always go back to here and pull 100. For example, you can see how that works. But even better, if I select these two, hit control G, put them in a group and then use the stack. When I click right here and increase this to, let's say 100, as you can see, it's going to move this and automatically adjust it according to the spacing that we set right here. So that's the repeat grid basically in a nutshell. You can do uh, just a little bit more than what you can do with a stack because stack is just for that single group and you can always use these duplicates. So if I delete this, put this group in another group, like so, include a stack, I can position it down and I can create a duplicate. So for example, control D, as you can see, it's going to create a duplicate. Now I can set it to 60 and then click right here, control D, but you can create all of it. You can put it however you want, but you cannot have it both horizontal and vertical. This is where the repeat grid is useful because you can extend it really quickly like so horizontal and vertical and basically do whatever you want with it. Finally, what I want to show you is if I pull a simple image. So if I choose my rectangle, place it right here, for example, and then go to my plugins. For example, I want to go to my UI faces unsplash and then apply randomly. It's going to work its magic and it's going to apply a single image right here. There you go. This is a free image from unsplash and I'm going to position it right here. I'm going to remove the border. And for example, I can even position it like so, make sure it's in the center just a little bit. And this is great thing about images. You can double click and organize where you want your image to be located. And I can hold my shift key and position it down. So you can just imagine that we have something like a nice card right here. Then I'm going to position this right here like so. And then I can use this for my repeat grid like this. So let's create three copies and call it a day. Let's increase spacing a little bit. Let's position this right here and let's click right here like that. And now I can select this image. I can go back to here. I can choose apply randomly from Unsplash, for example. And what happened is this. It applied all of these images 
because we have used repeat grid. So once again, uh, this is your main image and all of these are instances inside of your repeat grid. So XD sees it as different images. That's why when I selected this first one, and obviously you have to select the first one, always have to select the first one and simply applied that image across all of these different images, it applied like that. Finally, what you can do is you can always go inside of your repeat grid and you can adjust this like so. And you can see we are starting to get a nice layout right here. So if we decide to create something like this, we can already see and uh, things are starting to come into place already just by doing these two things. So a repeat grid and applying a single image like there. That's it for this video and in the next video I'm going to show you how to work with masks in Adobe XD, so I'll see you there.